A number of users have had problems with the Ubuntu Docker container in GNS3, especially when using Windows. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a workaround to solve this problem so that your Ubuntu container gets an IP address through DHCP. So let's do something similar in Windows. In this example, I'm running Windows 10 and GNS3 version 2.0. Now I don't have the Ubuntu PC available in GNS3. So I'm gonna to go to Marketplace, Appliances, and search for Ubuntu. Click on the Ubuntu Appliance, and click Download Template, and save it to my local hard drive. In GNS3, I'm gonna to go to File, Import Appliance, and select the Ubuntu appliance template, and I'm simply gonna select the default values in the wizard, so next, 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 finish. The appliance is now installed, so I can drag it to the workspace. And Genius3 does a pull from Docker and pulls the image to my local computer. Okay, so my Ubuntu PC is now ready. What I'll do is bring a NAT cloud to the workspace and bring a switch to the workspace and run that on the Genius 3 VM. I'll connect the Ubuntu PC to the switch and the switch to the NAT cloud. So there's my topology. I'll right click on the Ubuntu PC and click edit config. Let's see if we can mimic the same problem. So I'm gonna uncomment those two lines and click save. And I'll start up the topology and open up a console to the devices. I'll change the settings of PuTTY here. So ifconfig, notice we don't have an IP address displayed. Cat, Etsy, network, interfaces. The lines are still commented. Right click here, edit config. Our changes were not saved. So this is the problem that a lot of people are encountering. So in this example, I'm once again using Windows 10. So nano, Etsy, network, interfaces. I'll uncomment those two lines and then save the file. So when I cat, notice those lines are uncommented. Service networking restart doesn't work. So what I'll do is turn off this Ubuntu container and start it up again and open up a console. So now ifconfig shows that we've been allocated an IP address through DHCP, and that's because these lines are uncommented and have been saved, and we rebooted the Docker container. So we can now ping google.com and do commands such as apt get update. and install applications such as Python. And then start Python. So, we've now solved this problem where the Ubuntu Docker container doesn't get IP addresses through DHCP. I've demonstrated how to solve this problem on both a Mac and a Windows PC. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.